Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today we have the part related to the uh, constructing the machine, the CNC machine. Uh, we will now cut the tubes. The width of the machine will be uh, 1.2 uh, meter and the length will be 1.5 meter. I already brought all the required material for this machine. Let's go and start cutting the, the tubes. We have here uh, four by four uh, centimeter tubes. This is this one, and we have we have two of these. We have this two by two uh, tube, as well as we have this uh, flat. Uh, three millimeter we will need it later on now we will cut uh, because we will make uh, like a, a rectangle so we need uh, 45 degree now we will set the machine to Now we completed the welding for the frame, the main frame. Now after we cut the, the legs, we cut four legs, each one 12 centimeter. Now the legs been will be Now we are checking the leveling. Now we made the frame ready for bending. We did the but uh, we applied the putty, we made the grinding for the putty, and now we will make spray. Painting. Now we completed the paint, the primer. Axis. Now this is the idea that I, I will do. We will make here two bearings. Here we will make four. I have two here, and this will be the sliding for the x-axis. Okay, this will complete it later. Now let's uh, do the other sides. Similar length. Now we completed the x-axis sliding wheel. This is one part. We will make. We have to make uh, same in the other side. Uh, in that side. Now this uh, this one. You, you will notice here there is two bearings, and here there is two bearings. Now four beam. It is now very solid. It is very accurate. The accuracy is very high. 
Now there is two buildings from this side and there is two buildings as well from this side and from the bottom only one one bearing. Now this uh, bolt we make it a uh, little longer because we will make one uh, tube goes from this side to the other side and another tube here we will uh, exit five bolts in order to be able to to really exit when we need maintenance. Now this is one of the leads. This will move that way. We put the screw down from here. So this will move the X axis. Now this is the idea, we we keep this end of the nut. Now this motor should be fixed here and this was after we fix uh, the stepper motor now we make this uh, stand we weld it here and we fix it with the bolts to be able to move it out as well now we will fix this we call it this one will be Link to the shot. So they are exactly opposite each other. Okay. Uh, here we did uh, just assembly for the uh, y axis. So we will put here one tube from this part to here. Okay. And we will make one rail over the y axis. Later on, we will show you later. Now we prepare the y axis for welding. Now we will this uh, piece. And now we completed the, this uh, very ugly welding. Really, it's awful. It's fine. At least. It's, uh, Later on we will do grinding, it will be much better. This is I did this side, the uh, other side I will do it later. Now we will fix the Y axis. Now in order to fix the Y axis we have to be sure that this is uh, horizontal. If this is horizontal then this is uh, purely vertical. Now we will, we will fix these with the uh, X axis rollers with 8 millimeter screws in order to be able to unfix it and paint after them. Uh, in order to be sure that our welding is accurate, we uh, fix it with clamps before we get the weld. Now we will make complete weld for the Y axis legs and the uh, for the rail on the Y axis. to 
ensure the full alignment. Now we are doing welding for uh, this frame which will hold the Z axis and the outer. Now we complete uh, the welding of the Z holder frame. This Z axis holder frame. You see? It's very smooth. Sorry. No movement. Excellent. Now, this is uh, turned upside down. We have to turn it back to the right position. Now this is the right position for the now this is will be a rest up. So it will be excellent moment.